All right, today we're talking about Who You Say I Am, an amazing song from Hillsong Worship. I've gotten a lot of requests for this tutorial, so here it is. I'll be demonstrating in the original key of G flat for the female range. I won't be demonstrating in an alternate male key, but if you're a guy, I would try this somewhere around B or C, maybe a bit lower or higher than that, depending on your range. But you can just take these same techniques and apply them to whatever key you're singing in. This goes for females too. I know uh, some girls prefer the song in F, some in G, that's fine. Just sing the song wherever it sounds and feels best in your voice. This song covers a lot of range, an octave and a half. So unlike a song like Good Good Father or Build My Life or Holy Spirit, where they only cover a small amount of range, you can pretty easily find a good key for your voice in those ones. In Who You Say I Am, there's nothing to hide behind. So if you have an issue somewhere in your range, it's gonna show up in this song. You've probably already discovered that if you've led this before. It's been out for a while now, so I've heard many, many vocalists sing this song, and the vast majority of singers fall in to one of two camps. They either sing it with too much head voice or with too much chest voice. And here's what happens. Singer number one, we'll call her head voice Heidi. She can hit the high notes fine, but it doesn't sound very contemporary because singing in straight head voice isn't a contemporary sound. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. And the other problematic thing is that she bottoms out in the verse because head voice is an inefficient resonator for the low notes. Who am I that the highest king would welcome? Singer number two, we'll call her chest voice charity. The verses sound beautiful. They sound rich and full and contemporary. Free last he has ransomed me. His grace runs deep. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. But when she gets to the chorus, she's pushing and straining like crazy. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. And by the time she gets to the bridge and later parts of the song, her voice is toast because pushing up in your chest voice is super, super tiring for your vocal cords and muscles. They have to work way too hard. So sometimes Charity and Heidi are scheduled on the same week on worship team. They both love this song, but they feel super awkward singing it by themselves. So win-win, they co-lead it. Charity sings the low parts, Heidi sings the high parts, and Charity adds a nice low harmony. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad idea. Sometimes co-leading a song is absolutely the best thing to do if it's gonna lead the congregation in the best way, but we can't just settle into our vocal issues and weaknesses and say, this is what my voice can do, this is what it can't do, so be it. That's so limiting. It's gonna limit you on so many songs. It's gonna affect your confidence and your leadership big time. As worship leaders, we have a responsibility to be working at bettering our skills so that we can lead songs like Who You Say I Am. Yes, it's a challenging song. Yes, it covers a lot of range. Is your voice capable of it right now in this moment? Maybe not, but is your voice capable of sounding amazing both in the lows and in the highs on a song like this if you work at it? Absolutely yes. You are created in Christ Jesus to do good works that God prepared in advance for you to do. So let's embrace that and move forward and learn from singer number three. We'll call her mixed voice. Michaela. What head voice can't do by itself is sound contemporary and it can't hit the low notes well. They go sharp. What chest voice can't do by itself is hit the high notes well. They go flat and the voice gets super tuckered out. But watch this. When we add in the pharyngeal resonator and mix the three resonators together, we're going to have power and freedom 
both in the lows and in the highs. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. And when you develop your mix, and this takes time, so don't expect to master it all right away, but what we're looking for is a mix of resonance that isn't static. It's always shifting and changing, but it's gradual enough that the tone stays seamless. On the low notes, it's going to be more so a mix of chest voice and pharyngeal. On the high notes, it's going to be more a mix of head and pharyngeal. Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. And everything in between is somewhere in the middle of that. The resonance is always tilting and shifting gradually so that there's no flipping or cracking as you move higher or lower. Who the sun sets free, always free and deep. In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, I'm a child of God. One of the major keys to success in this song is to make sure you hold on to that middle resonator, that nasality, the pharyngeal resonance on your low, middle, and high notes. It's the glue that's gonna hold the song together and make your tone sound super contemporary. So I want you to try this. Let's go to verse two. We're looking for a full, deep tone that comes from resonance in the mouth. That's where chest voice resonates primarily, plus some nasality in the tone from the pharyngeal resonator. We're going to sing this on a no, 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 okay, to train the voice to find that mix of resonance. The N consonant helps to engage the pharyngeal in the deeper U. Vowel sound helps to engage mouth resonance. Remember that singing a song over and over won't make you a better singer, but practicing a song strategically with exercises specifically designed to accomplish the goals you want in a song, that will make you a better singer. No, 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 no. Now exercise to lyric, and we're gonna let the lyrics fall in the resonant pathway that we've just created with the exercise. No, 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 no. Free at last, he has ransomed me. Also notice how I'm just dropping off some of these phrases. That's a contemporary stylistic technique. When we hold our phrases too long, it can start to sound classical. Free at last, he has ransomed me. His grace runs deep. So you just wanna let it go. Free last, he has ransomed me, has ransomed me. No, 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 no. Free last, he has ransomed me. No, 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 no. His grace runs deep. No, 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 no. Well, I was a slave to sin. No, 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 no. Jesus died for me. That verse exercise is especially for you if you tend to sing like head voice Heidi stuck in your head voice in the low notes because that's going to help you get into your mix voice. And this next exercise is for everyone, but especially for you if you tend to sing like chest voice charity stuck in your chest voice in the high notes, which was me for Many, many years I would lose my voice after leading worship every time because I was always pushing like crazy on the high notes. As we jump up the octave here, we're gonna hold on to the pharyngeal resonance that we've just found in our low range, but we're gonna exchange some of the chest voice for head voice, okay? Not all of it because we still need chest in the mix, but we're looking for this tilt of resonance higher in the face, the higher we sing. The Nua exercise still works well here because it's a great overall mixed voice exercise. I've also found that a crybaby wham, wham, wham works well for these higher parts. No, 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 you see died for me. Wham, 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 you see died for me. Try 
both of those sounds, see which works best for you and just use that exercise as you practice this song. But notice how it's not straight chest voice. Yes, he died for me. And it's not straight head voice. Yes, he died for me. It's a mix. Yes, he died for me. The chorus is quite challenging for a lot of singers because the melody moves up. And oftentimes when a melody moves up, our brain gets scared. But I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be difficult if we come at it with the right strategies and the right perspective. First of all, you have to tell yourself that you are capable of hitting these notes. If you come into this not even believing it could happen, you've just set yourself up to fail. But if you believe it can be done, I promise you it will happen for you. And then on a technical note, my best recommendation here as you're practicing with these exercises and singing the lyrics is to make sure you're holding on to your chest voice in the mix. There should be some depth there. No, 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 who the sun sets free. But also, especially as you're learning these techniques, aim to be more nasally than you think is even appropriate. We have to go overboard first to train the voice to do these things and then we can rein it back in. But I find that so many singers shy away from the nasality and then it just ends up being chest voice charity. No, 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 who the sun sets free. Or head voice Heidi. No, 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 who the sun sets free. So we've really got to get that nasality working for us. No, 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 who the sun sets free. Well, 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 oh, it's free indeed. No, 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 I'm a child of God. Well, 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 yes, I am. No, 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 in my father's house. Well, 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 there's a place for me. No, no, no. other little tips and tricks to help you with these higher parts. This one has worked super well for a bunch of my students. Whenever you see the words I am in this song, I want you to think about a sweet potato, a yam. So instead of going, I am, I am who you, and reaching for that note, think I am, I am. I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, I am chosen. The Y helps us grab a hold of that higher note without reaching for it, especially if you drop your jaw and keep your mouth narrow. I am who you say I am. Also, when you see I'm a, I want you to narrow your mouth, okay? Think deeper with the vowel, more like ua, as in the word book, just like our no exercise and really use that M consonant to help your voice find that higher note. What we don't wanna do is go, I'm a child, I'm a. Instead, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child, I'm a child of God. That's actually what I'm gonna do with a lot of these uh vowels in the chorus and bridge is narrow my mouth and open up into more of an ua sound. I know I say it in basically every song tutorial, but that's because it applies to every song that we need to keep our mouth narrow because that creates the most efficiency for our vocal cords and for that pathway of resonance that we need in our mixed voice. When we go small and wide, here's what happens. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Now I'm going to narrow my mouth and even on vowels that are normally very small, like an E, I'm still gonna keep my jaw dropped and think more of an open I, 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 I shape inside my mouth. So who the sun sets free, always free indeed. I'm a child of God, yes I am. 
Okay, notice how my mouth shape stays very similar even as the vowel sounds change. It seems super awkward when we say it like that, but when we sing it like that, it makes things so efficient for the voice. Who the sun sets free, always free and deep. I'm a child of God, yes I am. As usual in my more recent tutorials, I've got the lyrics written out kind of strangely here. If you've gone through my courses, you know what I'm doing. I'm modifying some of the vowels using the consonants to help us launch into certain words. If you haven't learned about vowel modification or all that, that's okay. You can still practice along with this. Just aim to keep the jaw dropped, keep your mouth in as consistent a shape as possible, keep the resonance in your mix, and just sing the sounds that you see on the screen. Like I said, it seems crazy, but it helps make things super efficient for the voice. I'll demonstrate this for you so you can hear it. Who the sun sets free, always free and deep. I'm a child of God, yes I am. In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes I am. I am chosen. Not forsaken, I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I know I've kind of flown through this stuff. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Let me know if you have questions about any of these techniques. As always, you'll find way more of this stuff in my courses at The Worship Vocalist. Dot com, as one of my coaches, Brett Manning, says, a trick is quick, but training is sustaining. It's so true. Some of these techniques can absolutely help you sing this song better by Sunday, but this alone will not transform your voice. For that, you need to get at the foundational level. Train your voice with exercises designed to build your mixed voice from the ground up. Exercises to expand your range, improve your tone, increase your flexibility, all that good stuff. So uh, check out those courses. And until next time, God bless. Leave your comments below and let me know what other songs you'd like to see a tutorial for.